Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code ZERK for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. There's always a whole lot of stuff going on in Madden Ultimate Team, and today I want to go over what you guys should be focusing on, what you need to be doing right now. I do want to give a shout out to Danny Bo for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notifications on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also guys, the Travis Kelsey Payout Booster Special for this weekend on Underdog Fantasy is live right now. If you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, make sure you guys sign up using code ZERK, it'll match first deposit up $100 and go down to the comment section fill out that Google form filling out that Google form is going to give you guys the next coming specials shout out to you guys that filled it out and got this Travis Kelsey special also shout out to you guys that got my NBA picks last night because we actually had a very very good night my dad again had a $150 W he has been on an absolute hot streak my NBA picks today will be out later this afternoon so let's start off with what you need to do first here let's take a look at the passes the field passes are obviously very very important that you guys knock these out and the first thing i'd recommend you guys do as of this very moment because obviously today is friday we have the playoffs this sunday do your playoff field pass okay as you guys can see i have now finished it but if you have not already gone through here uh to be honest i cared about doing this first because i wanted to get the xp more than anything the season xp but all of these predictor tokens that you get, yeah, you need to get those done right now. So when you take a look at the objective stuff you can do is playing the solos. You can do the present solos. I personally recommend you do the present solos over the past. The past solos seem to take way, way longer. So do the present solo challenges. Uh, then we have stats ones with uh, win five games and nine plus playoff players in your lineup, six plus uh, force fumbles, doing sets, playing head to head or solo battles to get stuff done with a playoff player in your lineup. And then also make sure you're doing your daily tracker now if you don't know how to get nine playoff players in your lineup it's actually a lot simpler than you would think you don't need to go out there and spend a million coins to get all these playoff players whatever but just take a look at my lineup you guys can see steve young that's a playoff player that's the free steve young we got i have him at backup qb i have matt Breida and rashad white at backup running backs i have michael burden a backup fullback i have some uh old linemen as well left guard left tackle just pick up the cheap elites and throw them in as backups and that's exactly what i did on the defense side of the ball as well guys i have like some backup defensive linemen which speaking of the playoffs and the playoff predictors get these done do your playoff predictors as you guys can see it ends in two days and three hours which as of the time that i'm recording this video it's 10 30 so i believe that would be 1 p.m on sunday afternoon is when these go away eastern time that is so 1 p.m on sunday afternoon wait one no 2 p.m 2 p.m on sunday afternoon is when these will go away so make sure you guys go through do your predictors i posted a video yesterday going over in my opinion the best ones to do so make sure you guys check that video out so it's very crucial you guys get that done now that is like the number one thing you want to focus on right now is getting done with the playoff uh, field pass as quickly as you can getting your predictors and make sure you do those predictor sets because i believe this is the last release of the playoff promo they never officially said so but last year we we got the Super Bowl promo like this upcoming week is when we should get the Super Bowl promo the week of the Pro Bowl so very curious to see how EA handles that situation there but competitive pass this is next up now this is not the end of the competitive pass we still have nine days and 23 hours so really about 10 days uh, until you can no longer go ahead and get your Matt or not Matt Amari Bono here but the one thing you guys really want to make sure you get done is these right here okay because these expire on Monday we're going to get a new set of these objectives you can see the only thing I have left to do is throw for one more touchdown in head-to-head -head or solo battles games so I'm gonna get that done today and then you can go through and do the set ones you can do mutt champ solo battles whatever but the stats one is what you really want to do because obviously those refresh and that's a lot of CP to go towards getting everything done 
which I sometimes, you know, to be honest with you guys, when it comes to like the player that is in here right now, like I don't care to get Amari Barno, but the reason why I'm grinding this one out and actually playing like solo battles, which I don't ever play solo battles, is because I want the season XP. I want the season XP as much as I'm sure you guys want that season XP. And that's the next thing you need to focus on is getting as much as you guys can get done with your season XP. Now I'm level 31. As you know, I went on vacation like as soon as this kind of dropped. So I'm behind a couple of days on the daily objectives. And that's hurting me a lot in the XP here. But I'm still trying to get done pretty much everything else that I can. Team tackles, touchdowns, scoring, rushing, passing for yards. I'm going to show you guys a quick solo challenge that I do to get done with the rush yards, pass yards, if you don't already have those done, as well as the points and the TDs. I literally did one solo challenge over and over again to knock that all out. But obviously, you want to try to get this done as quickly as you can because there are some packs in here. And these players, the Ed Reed, the Gronkowski, I've been seeing a lot of people that have, I think, maxed out Gronk already or uh, very very close to maxed out Gronk and he's playing against me and he's a dog that solo challenge that I do guys is the week two standouts Chad Ochocinco because you start off on the five yard line and it's a one star solo it's very very easy you can get the rushing done with this one you can get the passing done you can get the TDs the yards all of that so aside from that though while we're over here taking a look at solo challenges a couple things you guys need to make sure you're staying on top of number one the weekly wild cards although there's no like get a free 96 overall player whatever getting these 87 plus overall bnd players is still worth doing in my opinion so just make sure you're staying on top of your weekly wild card solos uh, because obviously that promo is going to drop every single tuesday but the promo that drops every single monday is going to be the new class aka now this is something that i personally need to get done myself which is why i love doing this video because sometimes it reminds me to do things myself tier two you guys can see you get these aka new class tokens uh and then all the way down here more tokens more tokens and we're going to see more stuff added in because we're going to get a new release of aka on monday and obviously if you continue to play these solo challenge get them done get your tokens you're going to eventually be able to go ahead and get a free aka player so you don't want it to be like a month from now you come back and you gotta play through 150 solos or something although these solo challenges here you can see they're not that hard to do still you don't want to let them pile up so attack this now don't be like me i also have to do this and then the final thing that i do want to mention you guys is if you want to potentially investing into training points as you guys can see training right now is beyond cheap right 1.91 coins per training point now we haven't had any news about training variety packs coming back uh, they haven't said anything about it, but they have been gone for quite a while. We have some pretty important promos coming up. The Super Bowl promo coming up, and they did already announce that Team of the Year is going to be coming in March. Now, to be honest, you guys, it, with training being this cheap at 1.91 coins per training point, I really don't see it going down much more than this. The only thing that could really happen uh, is it skyrockets back up, right? If we get training variety packs, training should easily peak over three, four, maybe even five coins per, right? Because obviously it depends on what's in that TVP. Uh, but you, if you get training for so cheap, you can just sit on it right now, which is what I've done. I have 2.6 million training points. I know a lot of people that have even way more training points than me because they're okay with just sitting on it as long as they need to. I know people that are willing to go ahead and sit on their training points until easter if need be because then you can convert that into eggs so i feel like training is just so cheap right now it's worth picking up cards even if you don't quick sell them you can just hold on to them right you can go ahead and pick up you can see down here the cheapest training by overall go pick up a bunch of 91 overalls right now for about twenty-eight thousand coins and you don't have to quick sell them you can just sit on them and if you decide you want to go ahead and sell them back in maybe a month or so if training is still the same we haven't had training variety packs out whatever then you can do so and you pretty much won't take a loss that's pretty much the last thing that i want to talk to you guys about today but with that being said i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like and video and of course hit that sub button down below and let me know what you guys are up to today also i do want to mention i know i'm posting this video uh, on friday morning legend reveals will be tonight and as for like any info on like make rights with the hargrave situation with him not being in packs on tuesday they haven't tweeted out anything yet but maybe i'll update you guys tonight Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Fill out that Google form. Use code Zirkin on Rock Fantasy. Follow me over on Twitter for my NBA picks today. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.